if you're new to juicing, man, if I see vegetables, too many vegetables, I, I run. I would run. Yeah, that's what we thought. We thought this would taste grim, but it tastes the lightest and nicest. I would all. run. Wait till Matthew's dad sees that he's turned this kitchen into a production studio. Ain't gonna do shit. Yeah, that does. The beetroot. The, the beetroot. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom. I want to make one thing clear. This video is being shot in mid-August, so the hottest time in the year in the UK. Talk about closing the door. Anyways, back to business. Welcome to another Born Again. Today we're going to be going through four standard juicing recipes. So if you already juice and you're looking for new inspiration, then this video is perfect for you. But also, if you've been thinking about juicing for a while and you're just making excuses for yourself, then this video is gonna get you to give it a go. Hey, you know what I'm looking forward to do, yeah? I got one of those new citrus machines. Ooh, like it's electronic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fire it up. Welcome to my studio, former greenhouse turned crazy place. It's quite a good idea to put the plastic bag in that thing. Just fucking throw the bag away because I hate cleaning that thing. It's <laughs> a good idea. Consulting basis. Can you good ideas? Sorry about it. it's a bit fucked though, it's tight. Usually I work it by myself. For juicer reviews, stay tuned for future videos. Hey, let's, let's look at the recipes. 24 hour juice. No, in a juice fast, water fast. Really? 24 hour water fast. Yeah, I like it. I think he's doing anorexic. Nah, mate. Now I'm healing. Now I'm breaking my habit of my, my love hate relationship with food. Should we do bets now? Which one out of four do you think you, you enjoy the most? Yeah. They're all pretty healthy. Definitely not the ginger. I mean, Karen Apple. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> that's, that's for it. sure. That's the safe area. That's like. As you go across, yeah. that's like green, mate. That's like spinach, cucumber, apple. It depends how many apples and what apple. And what, yeah, red ones would be nice and sweetish. Beetroot and orange would be tasty because beetroot's sweet. That's what I'm most curious about. Hey, I tried parsnip juice for the first time the other day. It's on video. I nearly gagged. Yeah, that wasn't nice at all. That's yeah. like blending garlic and drinking garlic hey, raw. Apparently, it's semi-sweet. Like, it's semi -sweet. like onions or something. It's semi-sweet. Parsnip, hmm. Okay, will save it though. I know what horseradish tastes like. Parsnip's got this weird aroma. I thought you meant horsehaddish. Celery's disgusting. Yeah, it's alright. I know it's healthy, but it's like, it there's is. better things to put in your mouth than celery. <laughs> tastes white, tastes white, tastes white. A cucumber is quite mild, there's no flavour. Yeah, it is, yeah, it's just like water. I remember, I used to use that like a base sometimes. And we'll see how bad this one is. <laughs> Leave the best till last, as they see. Hey, that's quite artistic. Food art. Yeah, literally. <laughs> so, yeah. That's quite cool. Can you take the plastic yeah. one, please? Big. Big. Oh, Big. 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 Starting in the safe zone, let's go and juice some carrot, apple and ginger. Remember, varieties of apples make really quite a big difference anywhere from tart to sweet, so just bear that in mind. Carrot juice might be a little unfamiliar for some, but from where my parents are from, that is Poland, it's actually more or less like the Coca-Cola of the East. Introducing Kubusz, only just slightly like Winnie the Pooh, but for carrots, not honey. This should really be glass straws. You know, this is quite fancy, but who cares? More ginger? Yeah. May as well, like, really peeled it. You can always add, you can never take away. It's like, I actually like ginger now. I never used to. When there's like a fit girl who's drinking it with you, there's nothing better to drink. When Aggie made us this juice, I was like, mm. this girl's good. <laughs> if anybody starts juicing, you want to start with this. Yeah, like stuff they will actually enjoy. Don't start juicing kale or anything really good for you. You know, it'd be too healthy. Because <laughs> it would put you off juicing. Yes. And in the long term, you get less vitamins into you. The king of citrus orange and the king of roots beetroot. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not sure everybody's got a commercial Zoomex juicer lying around on their kitchen tabletop. So just in case you don't have one, for only $10.99, I got the most budget orange juicer off eBay. And what can I say? The review is going to be up 
very shortly and I can tell you it was actually hilarious how bad it was. Straight away it's obvious the ratio of ingredients is kind of key. But then all that stuff gets left behind unless you chuck it back in. Because that's like the best bit in orange juice. I like that. Some people don't. I, not too much though. Stick it in. So that's why people have to watch the videos so they can see what ratio is most appropriate. Yeah, we don't even know what ratio we're putting in. People can see how much we're putting in. I have actually haven't expected these recipes to go so well. I mean, I haven't actually tried them before this video. I usually just chuck in whatever's lying around at home. Wait, that's delicious though. Yeah, it's nice. If you don't want it too sweet, and I can really taste the sweetness. It's mostly orange though. Beetroot and orange is both sweet. It is, yeah. It's really good. Simple nice, simple nice, simple nice. Might be better than the apple and ginger. Uh, yeah, no, actually. Not like no lie. Right. <laughs> Citrus. Wait, how is that weird that aftertaste of beetroot? Oh yeah, it yeah. kills the earthiness. Yeah, totally. yeah, it that, kills that, the yeah, earthiness that, 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 and brings in this right. citrus kind of mm. cleanliness into it. And like, almost yeah, like it's from a shop. Really, no. I used to mix this shit with like kale and all this stuff and it'll always come out like pink. The colour, obviously, yeah. beetroot kills everything. Yeah. I want to press all the oranges. Oranges are buff. Oh, cold! Oh, nice. Hey, what's the next recipe? Introducing in the left-hand corner, celery. In the right-hand corner, parsnip. And in the middle, pear! I'm not looking forward to parsnip, celery and pear, though. Unless we put all the pears in. Imagine that's better than this. I need to show them how much I'm putting in, though. Let's see what tastes the best. Okay. That's the one you didn't want to do. Parsnip, pear, and celery. Yeah, but it tastes good, man. Like, it doesn't taste like any of those things. Right, <laughs> <but> it tastes <laughs> right, though. First, I'll probably add more parsnip to give it a little bit more of a kick, I guess. Definitely not by itself. Celery gives a bit of a like, nice kick. You know, in a little bit, it kind of adds its nice freshness to it. It's got yeah. a freshness to it. I can still taste it a little bit, but it's nice. Really good. Yeah, actually, like, probably better than the beach would be. But we did put, like, three pears. Mm. One, like, medium parsnip. Yeah. Then, like, no celery. I'll definitely add more celery, because celery gives more of a kick. And you only put half. Yeah, I was really? worried. I hate celery. Yeah, I got used to it. There you can barely tell. Yeah. But that's all I'm willing to put in, really. Seriously. I want to put more in, man. It gives a nice... Is that ginger? It gives a nice... Do you want to make some more? Do you want to make some more? Do you want to make some more? Or less pear this time. Can you so, put last time? Three. Three. So put two in now. A stick. Big. Thick. Two parsnips. Yeah. That is a change in flavour. Yeah, I know. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's the same ingredients, but just the ratio alone changes the taste crazy. So you can have like a hundred combinations and they're all going to taste different. That's so crazy. It's like one recipe is not just one recipe. It's like ten recipes in one. Deep. Mostly everything me. <laughs> if someone saw that and didn't know what was going on, they'll think, they'll think you're a dick. <laughs> Literally. All for me. Nothing for you. Same recipe, but <laughs> quite a different <laughs> flavour. <laughs> you finished it. I've just started it. That's definitely parsnip. We have done the parsnip. <laughs> definitely. One would have made it much better. I have to mix more pear into this, and I'm not going to finish it. Presenting our last recipe, and in no particular order, cucumber, spinach, and apple. To be honest, most of my juices have carrot in it. So this is another recipe where I'm really kind of just testing the waters, to be fair. It's like a, a mojito. Better bites, this would be nice. Yeah, it literally is. Yeah, that's fresh. For summer, that's nice. Very it's, refreshing. It just feels light. Love that spinach. Literally now, it's important that you've tasted them all. Which one would you prefer? It's actually quite hard to find a winner. We had our money on the carrot, ginger. I prefer and, uh, this, apple. man. Like, you can sell us to restaurants. Which one's the worst? Actually, thing? I actually really like the parsnip one, the first one we made. The first parsnip one. Just slightly better than the beetroot and orange. It's fucking amazing. Most people aren't gonna have an orange juice at home though. Which doesn't break after like a minute of use. And then this this just like is nice, is light. The carrot and apple ginger. I bet if we tried that last, we would have thought that was amazing. Yeah. It's just each time it gets better, you forget the taste. Mm. And it depends what mood you're in actually. Say if I like just chilling by like the poolside with like my family or friends, I would drink probably this. But then like say citrus, it would be like maybe like an after workout or before workout. The ginger kinda gives you like, a more like energy for you like Wake up, wake up. I think it depends on what... <laughs> that is literally playing. Is he, did he turn that shit on? Yeah, yeah. Does he actually like, listen to that metal music? No, I don't know what he does. Fuck, it's like a true animal. Can I have an apple to eat? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. What and the ratios, remember, 10 juices in one. To be honest, the main ingredient should be yeah. whatever sweet. I think it almost it depends on whichever recipe fits your ingredients, juice it. I mean, I, I hope you're not going to have all of those ingredients in your fridge at one time. Some of them are going to go old. And really, carrots, apples is what lies around the most. 
Man, I'm probably bouncing, 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 bouncing. Thing is, go. Yeah, yeah. Your dad's fucking mockers, man. The thing is, you can't even be fun or like laughy if you hear someone going insane. Enjoy yourself, man. Just have some juice. It's like, nah, I gotta film it first. There's gonna be a lot of mix in our stomach. Yeah, you make some food, you wanna eat it, but you're like, nah, I gotta film it first. Yeah, yeah, I bought it in the shop. It's only for the filming. That I bought expensive quality food this time again. That's apple, ginger, parsnip, celery, pear, beetroot, banana, banana orange. Banana, <laughs> <laughs> orange and banana. Musica disco. Remember, stay vibrant, stay healthy.